This morning we learned about the future, namely what the, the metaverse is and kind of how it works. But with everything new, there are potential dangers. Yeah, this morning Nick Monticelli is taking a look at what parents need to know about the metaverse before you allow your kids to jump in. Oh, hey, Mark. Hey, what's going on? Hey, Mark. Hi. What's up, Mark? Whoa, we're floating in space? Uh -huh. Who made this place? It's <laughs> awesome. Right? It's from a crater I met in L.A. It's a world very few know about and even less understand. The metaverse, a virtual world built for virtual meetups and hangouts, meeting anywhere, doing anything. People worry about what the metaverse is going to replace. They worry it's going to replace their face to face interactions. But I actually think for the most part, the metaverse will replace what we're already doing in media every day on our phones, walking around the world and social media platforms or on Zoom calls for work, etc. Robbie Rattan is a professor at Michigan State University. His class showed us what these virtual worlds can look like and what people can look like too. Your avatar will be able to make natural eye contact and reflect your facial expressions in real time. This way people you're interacting with will have a, a real sense of how you're actually feeling. All of this though raises an obvious red flag. What about security, especially for young children? Huge concerns. We should definitely be aware and uh, encouraging our lawmakers to pay attention. In the same way as we were seemingly blindsided by the downsides of social media. Rotan believes there are a few things to be aware of. First, online predators. Social interactions online, telling them about not speaking to strangers. I mean, just like, you know, don't stand at the bus stop and talk to a stranger uh, if you're six or 10, um, maybe same general rules apply. Another concern Rotan has is privacy. These headsets are tracking your body movements, right? So they can tell health conditions by just mining that data. So we should protect that data and make sure companies are using it in responsible ways. So what can we do? Rotan says education is key and being aware is even more important. So then knowing how to protect their private information, not tell people who they are, where they live, no real names, right? Use an avatar that blocks your identity. Use a voice filter if possible so people can't tell your gender. Um, if, if you have, you know, other types of identity characteristics that individualize you, find ways to mask those.